Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today, let's create the Instagram logo. So let's get started. Before we get started, I just wanted to talk to you briefly about the process I'm going to use um, to create this logo. So as you can see, hopefully the camera can pick up the colors on the phone, but um, the Instagram logo is just basically made out of these beautiful colors and there's no harsh black lines. And so that's why today I'm going to be using um, color pencils to create it um, and not the Sharpie. And color pencils are just easier to blend and so that's why I'm using that. And to start off, I'm going to be using kind of this uh, light orangey yellow color, only because it would be the easiest color to cover with the blues and the pinks. I just want you guys to also remember that we're doing this freehand. So <laughs> um, that's why I'm going to make this pretty small. So it's just easier to draw. But obviously, if you want to make it really big, then you're going to have to um, get some circle templates and a ruler. But let's start and I'm going to just go pretty small. So let's start with this orange yellow and I'm just going to start with my center circle. So I'm just going to lightly start and draw a circle. So hopefully you guys can see that. So I got a center circle in and then I'm going to come outside of that and draw another circle. So I'm leaving myself a good amount of space and I'm just going to trace around my circle. So just go around my circle. Oops, I'm going to kind of thin at the bottom. But don't worry, because we are doing this freehand, we can do some fixes as we go when we color it. We just want to get a rough outline for now. Okay, so we have that two circles in and then now comes the part of drawing the um, rounded off square around the circle. So I'm going to come find my um, center of this circle right here, go straight up. Um, let's say about this much space. I'm just kind of looking at the Instagram logo right here about that much. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side at the bottom right here, right in the center, come down, say about that much. Just give myself a point. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So just find kind of the center, approximate, and same thing. About that much. And same thing about right here. Okay, so we have approximate. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect, like I said, because we are doing this freehand. So from there, I'm going to draw a straight line using this as my guide. So I'm just going to draw a straight line down. And so my lines are going to be about the same width as my outer circle. So same thing here. So my, the width of my circle, I'm just going to draw a straight line. And obviously this is just a method to use if you're trying your best to do this freehand and trying your best to make it look like the actual logo. But obviously you can um, just do a freehand really quickly too. It's not, it doesn't have to be so much detail, but um, the lines right here. So we have the four lines around it. Then from there, we're going to start to connect it. So it's about the same width right now, pretty even. Let's go around it and just connect it with a curve. So same thing here. There. So we got our kind of squarish Mine came out more of a rectangle, huh? <laughs> but we can always try to fix that later. Okay, so um, from there, let's come out again and we're going to do the same thing. So once again, I'm going to use this as my point, come up, my center, come out, come out once again. Okay, so then from there, once again, I'm going to draw a straight line across. 
and same thing here. So this layer is just the same thing. We're just going tracing around. I mean, we're following the inside outline. And then once again, just go ahead and connect it. Okay, now we have one more layer to go. <laughs> so let's see here, one, two, three, one, and one more. So it's exactly the same thing. This one is just gonna be slightly thicker. So let's come out a little bit more. All right there, a little bit thicker. And here, approximate, and once again, This is the last layer. And one more corner. And definitely turn the paper if you need to, so you have a better angle when you're drawing these lines. Okay, so that is uh, approximately. <laughs> I'm a little bit high, maybe. I could have, maybe this part could have been a little bit lower, but it's pretty decent, right? We've got the shape in. And so then from there, let's start to bring, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Very important. There's a little circle right here in this corner. So let's add this circle in here. You're probably screaming at me. Don't forget the circle, right? Okay, so we got that in. So finally, let's start. Um, I'm going to start with this. Well, actually, you know what? Let's start with my lightest color. It's my yellow. And I'm going to start off in this corner. And I'm just going to start to come in here with this yellow. And I'm just, as I come out, I'm just going to, um, it's going to be a lot more pressure here as I'm coloring, and then I'm just going to taper it out towards the corner. So then it's going to start coming into the, um, the oranges. So I'm just going to continue that throughout the whole um, drawing and uh, try to blend in all these colors together. And so I'm just gonna speed it up because it's gonna take a while <laughs> to blend in all the colors. But this is definitely meant to be uh, very uh, relaxing, hopefully, <laughs> as you create and blend these colors together. So I know this looks pretty awful right now, right? Because everything is very sketchy and very light. But before I continue, I wanted to just show you what I'm doing right here. I am just lightly putting in the colors that are approximately where they're supposed to be. And now that I know where everything is, I'm gonna go in there and um, put a lot more pressure on my um, color pencil and blend everything together.
So they're all done. Well, kind of. <laughs> I'm just going to stop um, here because if I keep continue, it's just, I'm probably going to tear a hole in the paper with all my blending. But um, I tried my best to get the colors as close as possible. And as you can see, it does take a while trying to blend in all these colors. But hopefully that is the relaxing part of this uh, project. <laughs> and um, I made it easy for you to follow along. The one tip I wanted to remind you of is when you're sketching in the general shape of this logo, don't push, um, don't press as hard as I did. I kind of use this light orangey color, right? Don't press as hard as I did. Just give yourself a nice little outline um, because uh, what happens is you get this kind of like this yellowish glow all around and then the blue part right here kind of turned green. And luckily I was able to use the purple and go over it and neutralize the yellow so that the blue popped out and not green. But, um, uh, other than that, I think it turned out pretty decent and the yellow gives it a nice little glow around it. So it actually kind of turned out okay, right? But if you don't want your blue <laughs> turning green, just make sure when you're sketching it and don't push it as hard. And other than that, that is pretty much it. And I hope I made it easy once again for you to um, try this logo out and make create your own. And thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it and I helped you out, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.